in this video we will see how the electro hydraulic circuit works so here we have shown the hydraulic circuit which is consisting of two double acting cylinders c1 and c2 so c1 and c2 are the double acting cylinder this v1 is nothing but four way two position direction control valve and it is solenoid operated so this is the symbol for the solenoid operation by default this particular valve is always in the right envelope mode this is the important point prv is nothing but the pressure relief valve when the system pressure increases it will relieve the fluid through this valve it is normally closed as you can see it is not connected to the tank ports so p and t for the time being they are not connected t1 and t2 are the tanks so t1 and t2 are the tanks now this is the simplified hydraulic unit symbol so consisting of pump motor filter etc so as this is in the right envelope mode the fluid from the pump will enter in this port p from port p it will go to port a then from this port from p to a it will go the flow is divided into two parts so half of the depending upon the load on the piston so here the load or force on the piston is zero so equal flow will be going on both the sides and it will be uh, admitted on the left hand side of this piston over here and cause the piston to move in the forward direction in both these particular cylinders c1 and c2 so this we'll see in the animation also and this is known as what the forward stroke so f is known as the piston force external piston force is assumed to be zero for this particular case now when the solenoid valve is operated by the electronic circuit then we'll get the left envelope mode so this simple electronic circuit consisting of the source 0 volt and 24 volt this is the source of the voltage now when this switch s is closed then the relays k1 they are getting energized and they will operate this solenoid valve so sol1 is nothing but solenoid wall or coil of the solenoid it will get energized this sol1 that is nothing but solenoid is nothing but our left envelope mode and we'll get the left envelope mode over here so the spool is adjusted in such a way that we'll get the left envelope mode and now from the pump the fluid will enter over here from p to b it will get admitted on the rod end of both these cylinders as you can see by these arrows and as it gets admitted on the rod end of the cylinder we will get the return stroke in the piston the fluid from the other side collectively it will come over here from this side also it will come over here and from port a it will go to the tank or reservoir as shown in the figure now let us see this particular circuit how it operates so let us start with our animation part so as it is in the right envelope mode there will be a forward stroke as you can see both the cylinders they are advances towards right now when it reaches to this extreme position then we operate this electronic circuit and it will get the left envelope mode and it will start retracting so let us see once again so in the first case the advancement start because in the it is always in the right envelope mode the direction control wall is always in the right envelope mode now this is the extreme right position and now when the switch is closed relays they will get operated and then they will operate the solenoid wall sol1 and such that we'll get the left envelope mode and we'll get the retraction of this particular cylinder so this is the advancement stroke or forward stroke and now when the switch is operated the relays they will get energized and they will energize this solenoid valve and will get the left envelope mode and as the fluid is admitted on the right hand side there will be a retraction of the piston so in this way the 
electro hydraulic circuit works so now we'll get the right envelope mode as you can see when the switch is closed and then the retraction of the piston starts thank you very much for watching so relays are used to operate the solenoid wall.